Hey guys, welcome to my shop. My name is Pierre from Spider TV and Can-Am SpiderAccessories.com. Today's video, we're going to be talking about this. What is this, you ask? Well, it's a product uh, that we found. It's called White New. I actually didn't find it. I had a customer that came by. He had a 2011 Can-Am Spider and it looked brand new. And the plastics weren't, let me put this down. These plastics weren't like mine. I have a 2010 RTS and it's really bad. It, the plastic used to be this, this is underneath the seat. So, you know, this is the original black, black plastic. And mine is almost white, gray, white now. So I asked him, what does he use? And he says, well, it's white new and I got it on a Walmart. Here in Canada, you can buy it at Canadian Tire as well, but it's anywhere in US dollars to Canadian dollars, it's anywhere from 15 to about 20 bucks and you get one and a half ounces. You get a little bottle, here we go. I got my little bottle here. You get one of these babies and you get some gloves and we're gonna do an unpackaging, but it's just to show you that I've gone from this to this. So definitely gonna get this plastic nice and black. Once again, let's get to it. All right guys, we're gonna do the unpackaging here. So what do we get, what do we get? All right, so we have the instructions right here. We have a bag with uh, some applicators. We got some rags in there. Uh, I seem to have some plastic gloves. And we also have, uh, I guess this is for in the tight corners and the, you know if you want to get in there really tight you can use one of these applicators and of course we have 1.5 ounces of white new product well definitely we're going to give this a go here you can see that this plastic here is still really black but this is a, a soft like almost rubber foam and this is a hard plastic here and you can tell by the speaker these of uh, yeah they're probably not made of the same material because this one is really really gray and this one is really really black so we're going to be working on this one here and try to make it black like it was at the original around the dash uh, this piece here i've had painted a little while back so that's why it's still really black because it's not the original plastic it's been painted but this part up here as well but around the speakers, this is really beat up. The mirrors as well. Uh, the, uh, around the handlebars, we're gonna be doing these as well. Give it a shot, try to get that plastic nice and black and make it all nice and even. And especially this part here, down here, now that's starting to turn really gray as well. This is the other side on the Can-Am Spider with the piece that I was just showing you. Now this one as well has been really beat up. And you can tell here the difference between the black and the gray. It's really obvious. And we're going to be taking this one off and working on that one as well. All right, guys, we're going to start a project. We're going to start by uh, working on this piece right here. I've taken it off the Can-Am Spider, and I'm going to be working on a workbench. Um, I never know how much to talk when I do these videos, uh, how fast I need to do it so you keep interest. Uh, I'm just going to go with the flow and see what happens. Uh, one of the things, I'm going to answer a question. I've gotten a couple of emails that in my videos I use these this here it's actually a packaging material i put this on my workbench when i want to work on something that's uh, i don't want to scratch and if i work directly on the wood right here then you know you you want to you turn your plastics around or parts of your cannon spider and you're going to get them scratched so i picked this up at a packaging store and i bought a sheet that was four by seven i use it for packaging purposes as well but i really like it when i can put it on my workbench it's actually pretty dense so it's hard to, to squeeze and it's got a little bit of a resistance to it. So I really like it. And when you turn your things on there, you're not going to get anything damaged because it's just not going to scratch. So that's to answer that question. Uh, all right, so let's get started. As you can see here, when I did the, the first video, I showed you a little bit of the, the before and the after. Notice that they've given you a piece of, uh, you know, sandpaper, really fine. This is a P2000. So uh, you can go ahead and send a little bit of this if you want. Uh, I've already started doing a little bit of that. And just to take off a little bit of the grime, you can see in there the black. So it's taking off a little bit of the, uh, of the maybe the oils or the res residue that uh, might be on there. So I've gone ahead and done a little bit of that 
before. All right. I have with me a, a sponge that I picked up at a dollar store. I also have a Q-tips to see, uh, you know, if we need to get into those hard to reach areas, how much we're going to need of this. So go ahead and open this up. This is really strong stuff. So I do recommend that you, uh, you try to work in a ventilated area. And if, if not possible, then, uh, Make sure that you, I'm just opening it up like that and I can smell it already. That you have some fans on or you can ventilate at a later time by opening up like a garage door or something like that. I do have my gloves on. They uh, recommend using the gloves so I've gone ahead and put those on. And one of the reasons I removed the, the, the plastic to work on it is simply that I don't want to tape up uh, the bike and uh, put masking tape on there so I wouldn't get any on the paint. So I'm going to use one of these little uh, microfiber cloth. And when I do these videos, I'm never sure how much you want to hear me talk actually or how much of the work you want me done so hey listen guys i'm just doing my best i'm having a bit of fun here like i always say no pretension behind these videos here i'm just having some fun i'm sharing some information with my spider friends so there we go wow this is this is looking really really good i'm also going to go back over this black here although it doesn't seem to need it really but you know i just want to have a constant color everywhere so i'll go ahead and do that as well and as you can see i'm getting quite a bit out of the little bit that i put on there so you should definitely have enough to do all you can m spider with that Now, I can see that on the areas that are more worn, like this one here, it's still a little bit gray. So I may need to do another application or just put a little bit, yeah, just put a little bit more here. But it's already looking way better than before and since i'm at it i'm going to go ahead and do this as well we'll just try to give it a constant color everywhere there you go guys that's the first application so I'm going to show you how to take off that piece of plastic that we're working on. The one that we have that we're working on right now is the one on the left hand side that's been taken off. But the one on the right hand side right here, there's a couple of screws you've got to take off. So you're going to need one of these uh, little ratchet with a torque 30 bit. And it's easy enough to take off the two screws, but there's a little twist to be able to get out the plastic without removing the side panel right here. All right, so here we go. We got one screw right here and you got another one in the back right here so let's go ahead and take those off so you're going to be able to flex this up a little bit here you see this piece of plastic you can actually move it up about an inch and a half so that's probably all you're going to need so now we can lift this up you want to move you want to remove the back end first and then the front end last. So we're going to take this piece of plastic. We're going to try to swing it underneath the seat as this. Here we go. So lift that up here. Give yourself just a little bit of move here. You don't want to move, go on it too hard. But if you move a little bit, here we go. See, that's going towards the center. And then you'll be able to swing this part here. Now, underneath right here, there was a piece of wire that was connected there and the reason it's disconnected is because I actually took this off beforehand to uh, to make sure I could do it properly on the video and I forgot to hook it back up but you'll need to remove this 
piece of plastic here, this little plug here for the remote control right here. 